Hi, I'm Tanya Pafford. I'm a K-4 art teacher in Nashville, Tennessee, and I wanted to do a unit that focused on fantasy and art and um, how art can have these realistic icons, but they can be arranged in a fantastical way, and how they can represent the person, the artist, and their ideas, and how the fantasy art can be used as a form of storytelling. Some of my um, questions and goals for this lesson were how do artists show fantasy through art and why do artists make fantasy art? Uh, see, explain in their own words that there are different types of art including fantasy art. Identify artists who work in the fantasy genre and create their own fantasy art in different media such as painting and paper mache, drawing, for the first lesson, I wanted to focus on fantastical self-portraits. The idea is for the students to create their own self-portrait, but add that fantastical element to it. And I want, really kind of want them to think about what imagery they could put into their self-portraits to represent themselves and their lives. So the artist that I chose to focus on for this a lesson was uh, Frida Carlo and Mark Chagall. Uh, Frida Carlo had a pretty hard life and she really showed that through her self-portraiture and her fant fantasy imagery. Uh, whereas Mark Chagall is more of a whimsical artist and his imagery was just a little bit more lighthearted and more colorful in nature and I thought that the students would really be able to relate to those artists. The second lesson focuses more on the storytelling aspect where the students get to create their own story based off the work of art uh, of their choosing. And right now that's really big in our county, this PBL, this project-based learning. And so I would present a problem to the students of they need to create a puppet show based on a fantasy work of art. And they would choose their artwork come up with a story or, or a puppet show play for it and then they could create their puppet out of paper mache and I want the students to think about what story is being told in the work of art how will they make their puppet fantastical for example how are they going to keep from just creating a puppet of a person are they going to change the color of it what what's going to make this uh, fantastical puppetry the artists and imagery that I chose, like I was saying earlier, the uh, Self-Portrait with a Monkey by Frida Kahlo, uh, Kahlo. The Two Fridas by Frida Kahlo, Self-Portrait for My Life was Mark Chagall, and Self-Portrait with Seven Fingers, also Mark Chagall. For Lesson 2, like I said, the students would really choose the work of art that spoke to them the most, but I think being a teacher and guiding them in this lesson, the artist that I would present to them first would be like Henry Rousseau, Marc Chagall, Laurel Birch, who is a female folk artist, very colorful, love her artwork. I think that I would probably choose her work to create a puppet from. Uh, Roberto Mata, who is a Chilean artist, and then Paul Clay, who also has some great uh, imagery and you can get really creative with your story in that piece. 